Lonica, thanks very much for joining us. You were one of the partners alongside ANREV, NAREM, NCREF, PRIA, RealPAC and the ULI in the launch of this new report on diversity, equity and inclusion. So I suppose, first of all, what led to the associations all coming together for this research? And, and why did you see this topic particularly as being important? Yeah, this is quite interesting. And it, it is a first in itself because it is the first true global partnership. And it, it kind of started at our end, at least two years ago, when we knew that this this topic about DE&I becomes much more important among our members. And we want to see where are we standing as a market to really take stock of what is the situation factually, not just anecdotally here in these stories, but what where we're standing. So we did a survey among the INREV members uh, two years ago, and we hardly get any responses, even though we knew by speaking with the members that this was more and more a topic that they would discuss internally. At the same time, I was being made aware of neighboring and focus and parkers having done such a similar survey in the US for quite some years already uh, with some great results. So I thought, why don't we see if we can partner with them and make it easy for our members to join something that's already been established and show between Europe and, and, and the US. So uh, when we start talking with neighboring and focus and we pretty quickly realized, let's try to make it global. All the association knew that this is an important topic for their members. Uh, and to be able to do this together on a global level, we we all we saw the need in it, and, and that's why it was so you know quickly done, um, and we're able to you know show the results already um, you know within a few months. Looking at the results side there, Lonica, what what were some of the key takeaways of the research from from your perspective? From a European perspective, first of all, we can't ignore the fact that I was unpleasantly surprised by the lower rate of female senior participation in the industry compared to Asia and the US. On a junior level, not surprising that we're all 50-50. You know, and that's what we see when we look at the young professional events and our young professional program. It is 50-50. But for Europe to lose some of this female participation, you know, when you go to more senior level, more so than the other markets, that was, yeah, as I said, an unpleasant surprise to me. At the same time, what was very clear, and we knew this already, but it, it, it's one of the challenges that we have faced here in Europe is the lack of ability for us to collect data because of GDPR. Some of the data facts that they can collect in the US and Asia, we are simply not allowed to do that in Europe. And that is that is a bit of a problem. If you if you know that there's something that we need to work on, you need to have data to, you know, if something we always say, if it doesn't get measured, it doesn't get fixed. And that's a bit of a problem that we're dealing here in Europe as well. For all good reasons, GDPR is there, but it's also limiting us in this, this sense. Um, having said that, it's also we also know that there are differences if you talk about the US as a market which are further you know, advanced in this discussion and hence the results of the survey last year very much tilted to responses from the US because they, they, they have this survey there for years already. Uh, they they are you know ahead in the discussions in Europe. We are such a diverse market. You can't really compare what's happening in the Netherlands with Germany, with the Nordics, with the UK or Southern Europe. So that's a challenge that we also faced with. Looking at some of that, I mean, you mentioned there that that Europe was behind. How do you think the industry now takes this forward? And I suppose how much of a challenge is that? I mean, given the starting point you mentioned there, particularly here in Europe. What is good is that, and, and we, we saw that in the interest of, of participation with the survey, the global one, uh, we've recently launched a European focus one because we did not get the data. So we said we need to have more interview and uh, speaking with the members uh, between in, INREF and ULI Europe. We did it together where we said, okay, let's go to some of our members in the different markets to find out where they are standing. And then some of these differences between different countries in Europe become much more clear. But what it shows uh, with the global study and this European study is that the focus in Europe is now more getting on the e &I as well. We, is that, yes, we were a bit slower to start in the US, but it is definitely picking up uh, attention. And it's something that we, uh, in the study, but in, in discussion with the members at the events, it becomes much more important. And I think it's fair to say is that the pandemic have played a role in this. 
because during the pandemic, it was very clear that there's much more focus on, on the soft side of things, on, on the S of the ESG, also within organizations. And one thing that is very clear when we were all working from home, uh, that this work-life balance is a top priority now. And that also comes true in, 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 in this more European focus. But I'm pretty sure if we repeat this survey again, and we are about to launch this year's survey, so hopefully we get more respondents as well, um, I'm pretty sure that that's something that we will come see coming through in the results. And so, Lonica, what what's next? I suppose when when are you when are you publishing the next the next survey? We are about to launch the new survey in a, a few weeks' time on a, on a global partnership just after the summer, and we hope to release the new version again in December of this year of the uh, of the global survey. And hopefully we can already see that uh, within Europe, where well, we know that in the DEI you know, policies are there, but it, it, you know, in different areas it comes through as well. Great. Look forward to seeing that. And, and thanks for, for shining a light uh, with you and the other associations on this issue. Thank you, Lonica. My pleasure. Thank you.